before this video gets started, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys exactly everything that I got before the build, because as I recorded the video, I noticed that I didn't really explain to you guys everything that I got for the cam swap. So to start, as you can see, we already installed the cam. So these are the old springs, um, the springs that are in the Corvette, they're dual springs. That means that there's a spring here and then there's also a spring inside. That's better for the uh, camshaft that we got. We got brand new retainers as well. And we got new push rods. This is all from Texas Speed. Huge shout out to Texas Speed. If you guys need anything from Texas Speed, I will put a link down in the description below to check out their website, check out their camshafts. The camshaft that I got is actually a custom grind cam. So they actually do custom grind cams and everything for you. For example, mine is this right here. This is just everything about the cam that I have. So the LSA is actually 113. So it's gonna have some chop to it. And this is the box that it came in. We got the Melling oil pump high flow and we have some like gaskets for the timing cover and we had gaskets for the water pump as well. The things that we replaced or upgraded as well were the Trinian upgrade kit. So these were on the rockers. Pretty much just knocked these out and put the new ones back in. Pretty much everything that I upgraded was the cam, springs and retainers, Trinian upgrade kit, push rods, oil pump, harmonic balancer pulley bolt cam everything that we swapped that I can think of on the top of my head but let's get into the video so we got the Corvette in the garage and as you guys can tell by the title of the video we are doing something pretty pretty wild we are doing a cam swap on this it is right over there text speed We'll get into the details later, but uh, we already got a head start. We took the hood off. We're about to take the cold air off as well. And I guess the hardest part is what, the steering rack? Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Other than that, cam swap. We're gonna do the springs as well, push rods, and everything else that comes in the box, I guess. Oh, and the Trinian upgrade kit too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we got the squad right here. They are helping me with the cam swap right here. He has LS2. C6, so he actually just did a cam in his. Sounds pretty cool, we'll put a uh, clip right here. But go check him out as well, but we are gonna go ahead and get started with this and see what it sounds like on the first start, because it's all gonna be one video. We got the uh, cold air off, um, took the belt off. Put the pump packs, turn the coolant now. We are draining the coolant as we speak. Um, the steering column, we are gonna take out after this right yeah. so we got to pull that out through the passenger side I guess <laughs> or is it driver side okay we're gonna do that and what's the next step after that after that the water pump and you can access the timing cover oh actually first radiator then water pump and then pretty much there that's where we're at right now I'll keep you guys updated and do step by step nice. there we go how are we picking this up? Oh my, whoa, that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's a good thing we took that off. <laughs> Water pump out. Step closer. Oh, we gotta take this belt off. We got the water pump off now. We were one step closer. John is working on his motor. Hardly working. Uh, hey, harder. Hardly. Work hard, drive hard. Hardly work. So we got the steering rack out. It took us a while, but we finally got it. This is the hardest part of the entire install, by the way. Really? So we finally got that out. That's the hardest part? Mm -hmm. That is the outside the house. So we are done with that. We can finally work on the cam and everything now. Probably gonna do that first and then work on the springs and everything. We got the bolt. I almost broke a thousand. <laughs> we have a thousand torque impact gun and uh, it took all of that just to get that out. Literally, you can see it. So we got, I was like, obviously a one time use. We got another one in that box right there. Dude, you can just stick it right back in. Throw it right back in. Now, it comes off? Yeah, we're gonna use the uh, pulley thing. Take that out, and uh, I guess the next step is the cam. 
Alright, we got the fun. harmonic pulley off. Now we are taking the uh, timing cover off as we speak. Dang, you want to take that throttle body off first before you absolutely destroy it? Saturday. <laughs> We're doing this on a Saturday night. We're full Saturday. I know, it's already dark out too. You probably started the video and it was what? It was, it was, it was bright. Was Jonathan is out here working on the Corvette. Uh, he can't crop this one out. I'm a decoy. Actually working on it. Oh, did you lose it? No. Oh, okay. Just remember, I got what are you, six what are you taking out left. now? I got six minutes left. I'm taking the timing cover off. Right here. Oh. Uh, Wait, Kishan, weren't there two bolts at the very bottom? We got them both. We got them both. Right. There's just one down here. There's one more? Yeah, we didn't get it. Camera's out. Time and cover is out. Out. Yeah? Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir, and the oil pump is actually right there, too. So I got a new oil pump, Melling oil pump. And the cam is right there. We got the uh, oil pump out from the bottom. Got the timing chain off as well, and we just took, what was this part off? Like the gasket part of the cam? I think they're just a cover. I don't know. But it's this right here, so we took that out, and I guess now it's time to take the bolt, or the uh, the camshaft, out. Out with the old, and with the new, baby. Let's do it. I'll seem like just two. Yeah, I bought, I bought four just in case. But we bought two sticks to hold the... Oh, okay. Um. You cut them? Or not cut them, but like. Just hold the lifters up. So we just got some sticks from Home Depot. Hmm. I saw a Corvette. Alright, we there. got the sticks in there to hold the lifters up. And I think it's game time. Alright. Stock cam coming out. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. There we go. After messing with it for a while, you don't have to take the radiator out. <laughs> and we got the camshaft out. Yes, sir. Now we're getting ready to go in. And now we're gonna about to put that out, lube that up, put that one in, and we're almost done. We are lubing the cam up. And then we're going to put it in. Dang, that thing sounds good. This is gonna be sounding like when it's all done. So I can't wait. Obviously, it's the next day. We got the springs in, looks pretty good. Um, got the oil pump melling, oil, high flow oil pump ready to be put in. Uh, we did the stick thing. We got the cam in as well, as y'all saw. To give you guys some inside information, so we got the entire side over here with the springs and everything. Uh, we got the upgraded springs from Texas Speed. Um, for example, if your valve drops like this one did, then all you have to do is just rotate the crank and it should pop up and that's if you can't get it from right there. So that's like our last resort. It was a helpful hint to know because we didn't know that, but now we do. All right, we are throwing the timing cover on. We're getting uh, close to done. Oh, All I right. guess we can update. Yeah, so we got, we got everything back in. Valve cover's on. And now we're putting the water pump back on. Steering rack is next. Uh, I don't think that's next. I think the belt. I will forget you. To the, that is next. And then that, and then coolant lines, and then first start. 
stay tuned. So we got everything wrapped up. We got the both belts on. We got the cold air on. We got the alternator back on. Plugged everything back up. You mean the turbo? Um, yeah, that big, big turbo, right? The big turbo. We got all the lines to the for the coolant, everything, and I think we are ready for the first start. We filled it with some oil and coolant, so. First start, right? here we go. And then I need one on the rear. Uh, you can like start it and for a little, like let it run for a little bit and turn it off just in case. And I want to chop. Gonna... Let me get this rolling. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's turn this thing on. Here we go. Go what? Now it is. Out of gear? Good? Oh, dude, I'm nervous. Dude, I'm nervous. Fire it up, man. 